That's a big one. All right, so let me talk you through what I'm doing here. Basically, I have the lake map on the left. I have traditional 2D sonar on the top right and down imaging on the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm just scanning the lake to see if I can find any fish and then mark those fish and target that area. You know, it's not like you can just go out to the same spots and catch uh, these hybrids as they move around. And so the point I'm trying to get across here is like, you gotta do some graphing, you gotta try to find these fish and it takes time to, to find them. You know, this is the part that you don't see in the videos. Um, you see the pictures and you see these videos of uh, hook catches and all the other good stuff, but a lot of time is spent behind the, uh, the console trying to find these fish. Okay, in this first fish catch, one of the things I want you to uh, pick up on and one of the things I want you to try if you haven't done this before is, you know, I'm throwing an A-rig here and I'm still trolling around looking for the fish via live scope and my various graphs but I just pitch out that A-ring, let it drop down a little bit and just kind of troll along as I'm looking for the fish. And sure enough, I was able to uh, get a bite on one and get in the boat. Y'all see what I did there? I was moving up to another position and I uh, dropped my A-ring and just trolled and got this guy. Small one, but got the skunk out of the boat pretty quick. Just keep that in mind, you know, when you're looking for a fish and you have your trolling motor down, you know, it never hurts to just throw um, your A-rig or your bait out there and let it drift and troll around while you're searching for the fish. All right, for this next fish, the thing I want you to notice is that once I make the cast, I'm peeling out line and letting that lure drop down. I'm throwing an A-rig, um, and it has a little bit of weight to it, but I wanna make sure that that bait gets all the way down to the bottom. I noticed these fish, uh, the bigger fish at least, that I've been catching are down deeper most of the time. And so I know I'm fishing in 20 feet of water, so I count down like 20 seconds. Make sure that bait gets all the way down to the bottom and just slowly reel it. Now, another thing that I want you to notice is how close that, that bait is bit at the boat. So, you know, a lot of times I'll, I'll tend to chug it out there and when it gets close to the boat, I'll just bring that bait in real quick and then just pick it up. But what I've been noticing with these hybrids is like they hit right at the boat sometimes. So I, I wait until it gets all the way to the boat in the last second and then bring up the lure. I think hit it like a tank. I noticed on the live scope, the fish were around the 20 feet range. So I have a really heavy bait rig. And y'all can saw I just let it sink a little bit. Or I was getting out the net now. And then lastly, one of the things I want to uh, warn you about is, you know, since you're fishing this A-rig down deep, at least I am, uh, I'm just trying to catch these bigger fish. Sometimes you get hung up. And again, that's another thing that you don't see in these videos is, uh, you know, a lot of guys cut them out, including myself. It's like, no one wants to see anybody get hung up. We know what it's all, lot, all about. And so, um, so just do know, I do get hung up just like you all. I just don't include them in the video just cause I don't think as it's as nearly as entertaining, but you can see here, I'm, I'm dragging up a uh, tree. That's why you put big heavy line on this bad boy. You can get your lure back. Ooh, we better wrap up this video before the, uh, the storm hits and uh, get it out to you guys. But I'm gonna roll this one last clip here and I'm not gonna do any edits to it, just to show you that the full process, like, you know, when I'm chugging out the, the lure and uh, letting it fall and slowly uh, reeling it back in, it's just how slow um, I'm bringing this lure back to the boat to keep the bait down low. So, enjoy. Oh, 
on, guys. Oh, my arrow's in there. So that's what we got going on and that's how I've been catching them. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it's entertaining. Hope you learned something and maybe something that you'll uh, try out next time that you're out on the lake. Um, if you're enjoying it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna try to do some more of these videos and kind of talk through what I'm doing so that you all can catch the same fish or bigger ones. That's what I got going on tonight, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.